Yo, Sigma here. So today's opponents are fairly tanky. Um, mostly the middle wave is going to be the most difficult from what I've seen. Um, and I haven't gotten too many better scores than the one that I'm going to show you in the final round. Um, like and subscribe, comment if you would, or if you'd like to. I actually am trying to take some suggestions into account. Um, I've improved the recharge over my builds in general, although, um, excuse me, I've improved the cooldown of my builds in general. Um, but for one, I can't do it, and I think that um, the simple fact that I never deal with a red target means that I'm always going to be doing uh, the best damage I can, in my opinion. Because I think that the one in three chance that I'm doing uh, uh, better damage isn't worth the one in three chance that I'm doing less damage. Um, it's a certainty factor, um, in my opinion. And I, I really wasted this. I think I should have uh, fired off my uh, magazines a little bit more before I fired off the uh, Rolling Buster. And to be honest, that's the best coverage attack I have. Um, unfortunately, it still doesn't match up to the Axis drop, and I, I just don't want the Axis drop. I don't think I'm ever going to go for it. I might pick up the Ptolemaeus um, legs. I've got a pair of those that I'm working on leveling up, but it's not maxed out yet. Um, so I haven't really seen how it performs. Um, you can see I recolored Hinotori, but I'm really not satisfied with it yet. I kind of want to make this um, blue and red fire-themed color scheme for it, because it's named after a, fire, a phoenix, but uh, I don't think it's there yet. Whereas uh, Koryu definitely feels like a four-headed dragon, like I want her to. Um, this final wave is only really a significant difficulty because we don't have the EX skills to handle it as well as we could have. Um, ugh. <coughs> and um, part of the... Like, it's not that I don't necessarily want to use cooldown. I just feel like there should have been a diminishing return there. As in, you know, a soft cap. I've mentioned that in the past. Um, at the moment, I'm also I also lean towards a more balanced build than most people. So there is a little bit of recharge in there uh, or cooldown uh, supported in there, but uh, I think that in the long run, I'm going to get a better uh, result out of it. And generally speaking, if you lean into something so hard, it's generally something that that tends to get nerfed when the developers recognize it is a problem. Um, they haven't yet done that, but uh, maybe this is how they intend it to work. Um, and maybe I'm just behind the times. Personally, I feel like there should be more than one path to victory possible. Um, in this second run-through, I take a different strategy and use um, the mixed-up strategy like before. I'm still running the... Uh, the build I was on Hinotori like before, uh, but I wasted her Rolling Buster here, unfortunately. And there's a little bit of a delay in there whenever um, she activates the... Uh, whenever I swap suits, uh, because they stop attacking once you activate. Um, and this run, these suits in the middle wave are very well-timed. They manage to support each other fairly well, so that suit managed to time its EX skill just in time to save its teammate. Um, similarly, my team doesn't take very much damage from this, although it does take some. Um, the biggest issue is the defender just tanking through almost everything. Although I think that Evil Punisher broke that barrier. I can't be certain, though. So maybe those barriers aren't foolproof. Um it may be possible to break them, uh, but I don't know what could do it. Maybe Evil Punisher did it. I'll be happy if that happened. <laughs> now, if only there was something that would stop the uh, things like uh, Axis Drop. Unfortunately, 
right now, Axis Drop is fairly supreme in Master League. Uh, and I feel like that is a massive oversight by the developers. And it's... I, I'm not sure that they're actually paying attention to what is making it to the top. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> if they saw that... Um, would they be surprised? Would they be upset? I'm really curious. Uh, because it's it's fairly common for people to play a game in a different fashion than the developers intended to. Um, which is called uh, emergent gameplay. Um, sometimes it's extremely different from what they intended. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like and subscribe if you did. Thank you.